It is almost impossible to believe that there was once a time when New York City was all but written off. As the famous headline said simply, drop dead. The city was emerging from a time of corruption and the NYPD was not immune. Something had to change. Serpico and the Knapp Commission had propelled the Department of Change from the inside out. And what emerged was a modern NYPD. It was in this environment that the New York City Police Foundation was born. The mission? To help the NYPD by providing programs and equipment to improve the effectiveness of the police department. With no funding for bulletproof vests for our police force, we immediately joined the cause to protect those who protect us. We proudly provided the very first bulletproof vests to all members of the police department, and they soon became standard issue, literally saving lives for decades to come. And when financial hardships threatened to disband the mounted unit, the police foundation stepped in. We provided every valued horse in the mounted unit for the next 20 years. Nineteen eighties Gotham was a canvas of grit and graffiti. It was against this backdrop that the NYPD and the police foundation fought to clean things up. In 1982, we received a million dollar grant to produce an award-winning program to train officers on complex issues like Miranda laws, search and seizure, and stop and frisk. These initiatives helped reinforce the police foundation as a model for public-private partnership. And there is no finer example of this than Crime Stoppers. Since its inception in 1983, Calls to Crime Stoppers have helped solve thousands of violent crimes, including over 1,400 murders and attempted murders. Crime Stoppers has proven to be an invaluable crime-fighting tool. The 90s would eventually bring prosperity back to the Big Apple, but opened with a rise in violent crime. The crack epidemic was in full swing, and the city was inundated with drugs and illegal weapons. By year's end, the city saw a record 2,245 homicides. In response, the NYPD implemented Safe Cities, Safe Streets to increase the department's manpower and provide fundamental tools to change the way we fought crime. One of the most effective tools was the ComStat computer system, which the Police Foundation purchased for the NYPD. ComStat allows for more comprehensive crime analysis and review along with more effective deployment of personnel. ComStat launched a spectacular decline in crime unmatched in American history. The world truly changed with the dawn of the new millennium. New York City had been affected to its very core by outside forces. A clear role for the police foundation emerged, modernizing the NYPD to meet the challenges of policing a post-9-11 New York City. The police foundation provided seed money for the real-time crime center helped digitize the collection of crime scene evidence and updated latent print and forensic operations. In the aftershocks of the terrorist attacks, the foundation has provided support for the NYPD both at home and abroad by adding specially trained bomb sniffing dogs to the counterterrorism team and sponsoring the international liaison program. This program stations NYPD investigators around the world to gather global intelligence for the continued protection of New York City. As we reflect back over the past 40 years, it's important to celebrate the many milestones created by our partnership with the NYPD. As we look forward to the next 40 years and beyond, we will carry on our legacy to protect the citizens of New York 
and the continually changing city we all call home.